Mine's better. <laughs> you got bugs on yours. <laughs> Because you just got yours out of the friggin' shed. <laughs> and it's dirty. It rained last night. Gen 1. Ta-da. Versus Gen 2. Trev's back. I'm back. So we're, uh, yeah, we're going to run over comparisons between Gen 1, Gen 2. What's changed? I think it's heaps bigger. Man size. <laughs> Man size. <laughs> what happened to your motor? It should have had this motor from the beginning. You reckon we can swap this over? Yeah, probably. No, it's not there. Can you see that? It's on the other side. Yeah. They're going full American now. But I kind of pretty much, yeah, I just have one thing. I was just like... This has got some scars on it. Let's have some fun. <laughs> Trev's just complaining about the flies. It's probably because his stinks. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. It's starting already. <laughs> We both have our opinions on the look, and I think we differ a little bit. I think a lot of people do about their opinions on how they look, the yeah. new one versus the old one. And I was just saying to Trev before that, like, you can tell that this was the Ranger, the standard Ranger front end, and they've put on, like, you can tell where the width was increased, like, right through here, yeah, through the side of the fenders. And that's, that's pretty subtle. Like, but yeah, it looks good. That looks really good. That just looks like that's cranky eyes. <laughs> it has such a staunch presence because we all know what a standard Ranger looks like. And then when you look at the Raptor when they did it, it was just it's got that front end bulldog look, that big wide stance to it. Where on the next gen, that's kind of it's kind of like it's it is big, like when you put them side by side. It is such a massive grill compared to the old one and the size of the old one. But it's like it's, it loses that staunchness. Like it definitely has a wide and flat face to it. But because you can see the defined sections here where they've increased the width on the guards and everything, it, it definitely does look like a modified, modified yeah. ute with its yeah. width and stuff. Yeah, and what I see with the lights, these lights are really cool. I've, um, yeah, just see them coming at me when I'm driving along the road. But what I'd see is with the grill there, a lot of the bottoms are more open in the front here and yeah. down in the low. This is all cut off, very, it's all blocked out. Yeah, it's just a little bit difference in airflow, the way they've set it up to the old girl. Yeah, there's so much more ventilation in the top grill than this one, but then you do have that big scoop down the bottom Overall, on this one. Overall, I don't think a big difference, but just the way they've set it up. Yeah. Higher. Probably because of the engine. All right, you show me yours and I'll show you mine. Look, it's so pretty. <laughs> Dirty. Oh, wow, they didn't wash that. <laughs> Who had it before me? I thought my car was dirty. <laughs> What's your thoughts on the engine? Um, I'm impressed. Um, it needed a V6 twin turbo from the start, so are we both happy? We're both happy about that, that that's, yeah. this is the direction that it's going. Does, does diesel, because I know a lot of people are like, oh, I'm not buying it because it doesn't go to diesel. But I think that's what people don't understand is that these, these are a lifestyle vehicle. What do you think the two biggest things that you see on social media about these is? I think it's, it can only tow two and a half ton and it's petrol and people want diesels, but I just don't, this isn't a diesel car, it's not, it's a Ford performance product, it's not, and I think people, they feel, I don't know, a bit let down that they have to buy a wild track to be able to tow, but they don't get the Raptor looks and the Raptor this and that and all the rest of it. That's the bind I'm in, like I love the Raptor, yeah I love everything about them, both, both cars, the old and new. I, does, does the petrol thing hang you up, petrol versus diesel, or not really? Yeah, I, I yeah, I'd like I'd like to see the petrol in the wild track. Yeah. Okay. So, oh, okay, righto. So, so you'd rather have a petrol in the wild track than a diesel. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, that's not the direction I thought you were going to go. I thought you wanted a diesel in this. Yeah. Well, after our little drive from Sydney today, I drove a lot of different vehicles. Yeah. But I'm not taking anything away from the two liter. It's, it's it does its job. Like it's not it's not as bad as what everyone makes out, but it's definitely not this. Yeah, well, that's that's another level. Mm. <laughs> Come on, show us your little engine. I can't wait to see this disaster. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it 
It's a little motorbike. It's got a big heart. Look at all that. Where is it? Where is it? Can't see it. Okay, so we've got the the bi turbo, the bi turbo, the bi. Tur <laughs> so we've got the bi turbo in first gen. Again, Trev's done some small mods with the intercooler piping and stuff like that to the uh, to the turbo and whatnot intercooler. So coming over here, well, I didn't do this, but it's going to look worse than that when I'm done with it. So in here we have the uh, V6, the new twin turbo V6. So I'm impressed. Power wise, like there's just no comparison. Like it's no. it's a it's a, a transit van engine <laughs> versus pure performance. Which is this is the engine that it should have had from the first place. Like it should have had it should have had a motor like this. It's a Ford performance product. It should have had this motor from the beginning. You reckon we can swap these over now? Yeah, probably. Yeah. We'll just do it here. I've got a shifter. <laughs> <laughs> there's going to be a nostalgia with with this, I believe. Oh, yeah. With this first gen, there's going to be a nostalgia with this thing. Is it nostalgia? Is that the word? Oh. Like, I don't know what the word would be. I reckon it'll be a classic. Yeah, well, like a classic. It'll It'll have that... Like, everyone's trying to source, in the US anyway, first gen Raptors. Like, the first F-150 Raptors. They're very hard to come by right now. Everyone's trying to source them. So I think these will be sourced, but not for the motor, basically just for the body, suspension, chassis, everything else, but people won't give two craps about the motor. And I think that a lot will get converted into Coyotes and, and put a Harrop supercharger and all that sort of stuff on it. So That'd be sick. Yeah, so we're just waiting for Trev to do that video. That's coming yeah. next week. With Nas. Ka-ching. So these, I think they're... I don't know, it's kind of hard because we had such good, we have such good engineering in this version. Like there's great engineering in that one yeah. and that started the platform, but the engineering and stuff in this one now with the shocks, the, the power plant, the technology in it, like it's, um, it's just come leaps and bounds from, from the first gen. But I still think that these will be sought after yeah. um, just, for, just for being the first gen. And that they will be a classic four-wheel drive in the future, but not for the motor. No. They'll definitely be just all be getting swapped out for bigger power plants and, and losing the bi-turbo. So, and all the wrecked Mustangs, <laughs> rip the motors out of them and whack them in these things and, and away you go, buy the, buy the harness from Ford Performance and, and whatnot. These don't come out with struts standard, do they? No, they built it right the first no, time. No, they didn't. <laughs> There's no struts on this one. Is there struts on that one stock? Factory. Is there really? I can't there remember is. that. Ford. <laughs> That's not very nice. <laughs> what What are you planning to do with this thing, engine-wise? Not nothing or nothing. you want the Coyote, but oh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that that would be very very cool. Um, yeah, that the uh, 50k. 50k for the conversion yeah thereabouts and it's not just the motor and the wiring and all the rest of it like they got to redo the brakes um they're all redone and that pretty well covers their um engineering mm. and that it gets that sort of that's a, it would be a completely different car oh it would be an absolute monster if it had the i i'd like to drive one it's with the coyote on. <laughs> to compare it like to compare it to because i know what that's like but to compare it to this um with this with a coyote in it and then imagine that with a coyote in it with a supercharger that would just be stupid and off its head but we've done we've done aesthetics on the front end done the engines um i guess moving around to the side of the vehicle obviously we have um like let's go down to suspension i guess so live valve shocks in the front of this one still a, a 2.5 and then we just have the first generation with no live valve internal bypass yada 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 not going to go into too much detail about that because i've already made videos on that sort of stuff but i guess you'll probably learn a bit more about this this week and what you think of that um just on the hard top driving up they 
is a difference between the old girl mm. and the new car. I noticed, I noticed that pretty well when we took off and the car settled down pretty quick after you're given a boot fall. Yeah. Really nice. But how flat it stays through the corners too. Yep. Like there's no body roll. It just stands up. It just, it's like a, it's, I've mentioned it when I was, when I uh, was at the launch and it just, it's like a bloody race car. <laughs> like I said, it's like a, driving a sports car. Yeah, there's no drop on the shoulder going in. No, nothing. Around the corner. No. Technology is just crazy. So um, they're still running the same linkages and stuff in the back as well, but we'll get around to that in a minute. It's not too many changes cab wise, eh? Like it's, it is much for muchness. Like the interior, there's a fair bit of changes in there, but we've got obviously we don't have the, the, the vents on the bonnet here. We've got the side vents here on the first gen. Side vents here, bonnet vents. Uh, the the doors are pretty much similar. Like we've got new mirrors, but is that very technical and big changes? Not really compared to the old ones. But for the most part, the cabs look very very similar. Like if you look at the pillars, if you look at the windows and the pillars on the first gen, and you come across to the second gen, very very similar roof profile and everything. Yeah, like the standard wheels yeah. on the first gen, those spokes like protruded heaps, eh, yep. on the first gen. Yeah. So obviously Trev's changed his out for KMC wheels, um, but here like we still have like, this is the media car and you can still see all the stone chips on the, on the wheels here themselves just because they protrude out so far. All right, I come around the back. Obviously the, the tubs look very, very similar. That big uh, bulge just here on the tub. I think this one's a little bit more defined. Yeah. Like this corner here is a bit more yeah, pushed out. But tubs are tubs. Tubs are tubs. Do you like the new ones versus the old ones? Yeah, I do actually. They're uh, got radar. Yeah, yeah the radar. And monitoring the and stuff in them. Yeah, I do like it. Yep. I feel like that, like they should have been, I feel like they should have been um, LED. Oh, absolutely. Like I swapped mine out to yeah. LED and when I had the when we had the gray one, it's like a bronze gold Ford logo. Are you gonna swap them over? Tailgates? Yeah. <laughs> I'll just take the badges. Just, I think it's heaps bigger. We'll it go is. there and have, we'll go and have, it and have is. Yeah, yeah, it's, 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 it's way bigger. It's like as big as my Super Duties one on the grill. <laughs> So you've got lights on either side in this one, but for the most part, a tub is a tub and that's about it. Still got the spring and everything. You got the spring, eh? Yep. Yeah. Bumper, sensors, tow hooks, pretty much the same. That kind of is the same. Dual exhausts. Right, on the first gen. So we just looked over the second gen on the first gen. So yeah, no stamp. It's pretty boring tailgate, isn't it? Yep. It's just a Ranger tailgate yeah. with a Raptor badge yeah. and a Ranger badge. But Lots yeah, that's way, way smaller mm. than the, the new ones. Yeah, and it's got the camera in the bottom of that one as well. Yeah, yeah, that has, that has a camera as well. Yep. Yeah, some juvenile tag me car. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know who would do that. <laughs> who would do that? <laughs> but the bumper is pretty much a bumper, but the... the the rear bar and everything with the tow hooks is pretty much similar. Trev does have the Ute Master lid on the back. Caravan cover. And his caravan cover. 12, 12 volt. 12 volt outlets up the front there, where in yep. this one it's, where in the, the second gen it's back here in the corner. Yep. Uh, you got your spring and stuff in here, but really tubs are tubs, eh? There's not really. Um, that's got a spray in bed liner, but I'm pretty sure that that's that's changing yeah, I think it's going to the same one that you have just a slide in one So on the first gen the tail light was up on the rear of the cab that's changed now on the second gen It's actually on the on the tailgate So yeah, it's been moved from the back of the cab to just down here on the tailgate So I don't know why they did that. Oh, I like it you like it better like that? Yeah, yeah. It's just yeah, a bit of a pimple on the back of it, sort of. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it does the job. Like it's up nice. I think high. it's I think it's real like that 
I, I, I like it. I think it's real American, but. Yeah, so for noise reduction, there's a glass that um, is laminated. So two pieces of glass with the fill in the middle. So first gen's laminated. Laminated. And, and what do you notice? Um, tempered glass. Tempered on the yeah. second gen. Yep. Oh, yeah. It says it just there, tempered. Yep. So laminated and tempered. Yeah, so that'll crack and then it'll explode into a million pieces. Oh, lovely. Not much has changed in the suspension in the rear. It's still, it's still the 2.5s. Still got the watts linkage and everything. It's just running live valve now, same as the front. So not a great deal has changed there. Still running KO2 tires, same as the first gen. But these, yeah, this is. But I, I like them because they stop a lot of the stones from coming up and smacking into the side of the doors. Like because you are, yeah. you are off road, you are going fast. There is going to be rocks. You're kidding yourself if there's not, if that's what you're going to do with it. But I, I like them, and they're friggin' solid as you could smack them on something and wouldn't be too much of an issue. It's pretty different, eh? Oh yeah. Like yeah. now going from that to to the the new one, the dash has changed so much more upright and vertical and Yeah. Yeah. Um man size flappy panels. Do you think they're smaller? And yours, yeah. Really? Yeah. Starting normal recording. Normal recording we're doing right recording. now. Good on you, Black. But it's yeah. um Really? Yeah, they are too, eh? Yeah. So the paddles, the paddles, are, the paddle shifters are smaller on the second gen. Man size. <laughs> Man size. <laughs> what happened to your motor? <laughs> <laughs> That's where all that metal kind of, jeez, could have put it on two cylinders in there. Jesus. <laughs> the metal they should have put in the motor went to his paddle shifters. <laughs> But I think this would be really good, like, as soon as we jump into the next gen, to see the differences uh, between both. I'm not really going to go through all the features and everything, but we're just looking at everything that's changed between both both generations. The tacos and everything there, and yep. how much different the steering wheel is in the new one versus first gen infotainment system inside the doors and everything but yeah gen, like, gen 2 absolutely owns the difference between this with the stereo system yeah and i feel like there's there is more room i feel like there is more room in the new one right uh, interior of the second gen what do you think oh heaps more room um yeah i think like width width wise with yeah. your legs and everything like a little bit more room in the footwell. Yeah. Um, this yeah. is all more open where mine's very closed for digging around looking for bits and pieces you're mm. hiding in there. Do you feel like it's quiet, Um No. no. Same, same. Same, same? Same, same. Friggin' tenfold, I believe, uh, than on first gen. Yeah. Yeah. And... As I was saying before, they got to it's, it's got to evolve and improve. Mm. Um, it looks great. I love the big screen. It's good. Yeah, the screen's cool as shit. Flappy panels are bloody small. <laughs> <laughs> they are, they are they are slightly smaller. I think slightly. <laughs> yeah, but they use that metal and put it in my motor. <laughs> yeah, well, you got your two engine, yeah, two mix, two extra cylinders. Yeah, good on you. What what were you just asking about in the back? The 240 plug, 240 volt. No, I think they did away with it. Mm. We're... No, it's not there. <laughs> Doesn't have one? No, got one in mine. Three, three pin, 230 volt. Well, that sucks. Wonder why they got rid of that. Uh, well, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> no idea. <laughs> Um, there's room for one they beside used all the, They used all the metal in my engine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Baby, baby, pa uh, flappy paddles. Fair dinkum. Righto, so final thoughts. Like, 
for us to go through every technical detail on the differences, we'd, this would be a six or seven hour video. And you don't want to see that much of me, that's for sure. Yeah, maybe of me, because I'm so damn handsome. Ah, oh, he's beautiful. I like his haircut. But... <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, it'll just go too long. Went over just the, the aesthetics, what's changed visibly, and the major changes are major the suspensions changes. and the motor. The, the interior is a massive change. Like, the whole car has changed, but still most of the underpinnings are very similar between both models. And from what they've taken this platform here from and made it into this, they, they did all the hard R&D, I believe, with this one. Yep. Everything from the, the first initial development and taking so much from the F-150 and, and Ford has a massive team doing all that sort of stuff. Starting it with here with the previous platform, previous gen, into the new generation and just tenfolded everything they did to it with interior and tech and suspension and the engine and... Yeah, comment down below. Me and Trevor will be in the comments uh, talking to you if you want to know anything between first gen, second gen. You might be looking to buy a, a first gen and Nothing you want to know some stuff. Nothing wrong with that Yeah, no, nah, they're awesome. So jump in there, ask some questions. Um, either me or Trev, because I've had one, we can answer the questions. And if you've got any questions on the new one, drop them in there as well. And I'll be sure to uh, get back to everyone that comments. So we'll see you in the next one. Catches.